So you see the title of this video and probably the first uh, question that comes to your mind is what is the meaning of it? Are not the guitars uh, that professional guitarists uh, used to play concerts very high quality guitars? Yes, they are normally of uh, they are normally of high quality, but um, a distinction uh, can be made between them and guitars that are also of very high quality, but uh, may not be suitable for concerts in large halls. I can also tell you that, in my opinion, yes, this distinction can be made. That is to say, guitars that are good for concerts in large halls are not necessarily the guitars that you would most uh, uh, enjoy playing in your guitar room for yourself, in your home, with your friends or a small audience of just uh, a few people. Mm. I, I will try to explain this. What kind of guitar is looking for the professional guitarist who normally plays in large concert halls for 500, 1000 people or, or more? Well, I th it, is, it is a guitar that first of all allows the concert guitarist to be heard clearly from the first row of the hall to the last that the person in the front row a few meters away can hear it clearly and also that the person in the very back row dozens uh, meters away can hear it clearly too. In other words, um, what they are looking at first, uh, what they are looking for at first is a powerful guitar with plenty of volume because I repeat, the listener who has paid for a ticket, who went to the concert and who is situated in the back rows, wants to clearly hear the music being played. If the listener cannot hear the music, he would be thinking, why did I come here? Why did I come to the concert? And he would say, next time I'm not going to see a concert by this guitarist again, because I, can, I cannot listen to anything, or I need to buy always the, the first row. So uh, the guitarist is clearly looking for a powerful sound in the guitar. There are professional guitarists who are uh, very interested in the guitar instrument and all that, that it contains, no? in, in the different ways of making the instrument, in the different kind and quality of sound that the guitar can produce, who has a bass, uh, a vast knowledge to know what a good guitar is. <clears throat> and there are others, believe me, I, I met, uh, there are others who are not so interested in it or not having so much experience or I don't know what it is, uh, but they don't know so much about, about this subject. The main thing that matters to, to, to this kind of guitarist is that the guitar can be played comfortably and sounds strong, very strong and sometimes uh, they are interested in little more than that. I've heard guitars uh, at concerts that um, they were very powerful guitars but then in terms of color in the sound and sound nuances, uh, sound quality and beauty, they were not, not good at all. So imagine this situation, a professional guitarist playing a concert in a big hall and he has two guitars options that he can choose for the concert. The two guitars give him an excellent playability and, and on the other hand the guitarist doesn't want, uh, doesn't like to amplify the guitar for the whole because he doesn't believe in amplification of the guitar because he thinks as, as I also think that amplification kind of destroys the, the possibility to hear the beauty of the sound of the guitar itself to listen to the to, the, to listen to the actual sound of the guitar because uh, with amplification what you are hearing is uh, mainly the sound that the mic gives you, the speakers, the mic preamp, 
the quality of the sound engineer who handles everything, etc. Uh, in uh, in the amplification, you hear, in my opinion, very little of the real sound of of a guitar and and, and its beauty. And going to a guitar concert and being deprived of that is is a real shame. But. Back, uh, back to the choice this professional guitar has to make, back to the situation. One of the two guitars is full of colors with a wonderful, beautiful sound, with a wide possibility of making dynamics, with a balance in the sound between bass and treble and between all the notes of the, of the guitar is excellent, the balance is excellent. With some uh, subtleties uh, and emotions that the guitar gives that it is a real pleasure. To, to play to play this guitar, but with uh, this guitar has some problem or some well some problem. It has a limited sound projection and volume. The guitar projects well, has an acceptable volume, but it's not a guitar so that in, in a large hall, those in the back row, dozens of meters away, will hear the guitar is very clearly. And on the other hand. Uh, we have the second option, the second guitar, which gives half the colors or less than half of the first one. He likes, the guitarist likes the sound, but well, it's, it's just okay, nothing out of this world. Good dynamics, acceptable balance, as I say, playability really good. Uh, but this guitar has a very big, powerful sound that in the hall with capacity of uh, 1,000 people where let's imagine he will play the next day he is sure that when he's playing every note he plays everyone in this uh, big hall will hear him very clear which guitar do you think the professional classical this professional classical guitarist would choose for the concert I think he would choose the second one the very powerful one with a lot of volume that allow him to be sure that everybody in the in the audience is going to listen to him very clear and the other guitar the first one which in fact is a better guitar many more qualities with a much more beautiful sound is a much better guitar he will leave it in its case now Imagine that you are in the audience at the concert hall of that classical guitarist. You love the way this guitarist plays. He's your idol. You have been following him for many years. What a, a technique he has. Um, the music pieces he played in that concert moved you. And you, you are a guitarist too, and an amateur guitarist, but you also play. And you, you, you love playing the guitar. And you should say to yourself, oh, I, I want to have a guitar like the one he plays. That thing very often happens, no? So I can play it at home because he's, he's my favorite guitarist and I want a guitar like, he, like his one. I'm sure it's the best guitar. And oh, how loud that guitar sounded in the concert. It was so powerful. This guitar of this guitarist, because he plays it and he's very famous guitarist, it happens that this guitar cost a fortune, but you want that one, the one he plays, and uh, you are determined to spend that money to be able to have that guitar, the one he plays, uh, and you buy it, and you have it in your, in your home, and you go to the small room where you normally play, and you start playing it, you play it for a while, and you say to yourself, oh, wow, this is... This guitar sounds good. Oh, how powerful is the, 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 It's so loud. Maybe ten minutes later, your your wife or your husband or your daughter or your neighbor arrives and tell you, please, please stop, because the guitar can be hear, heard all all over the house, um, and they can't stand it uh, anymore. But the, the the big problem is here is that you also start to get tired of the loud volume uh, uh, and you start to think that it, it is better to go to the to another place to the big living room of of your home to play it because in the small room where you normally play is too small and at the beginning it is fine but after a few minutes 
you see that you don't like that that that, that the room is booming with the pieces uh, that you are playing and you don't like the acoustic in the room anymore is is kind of unpleasant so these guitars with so much power and with a sometimes kind of Sometimes it's, 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 a, it's kind of ugly sound, this kind of guitar, with, they are so loud. It is sometimes too that they are really unpleasant to listen to, especially in a small rooms for a long time. The next day your friend, let's imagine, the, the next day your friend comes, who is also a guitarist, come to see the famous guitar of that famous guitarist. You have to go to your usual room because there are people in the living room. At first your friend is surprised and how loud the guitar sounds but after 10 minutes he's already uncomfortable because it sounds too loud and you are in, in, in that small room it sounds too loud and he, your friend can't stand it any longer and he's two meters away listening with a face like he wants to go out and have a beer or coffee with you and talk about guitars guitarists or whatever and in, it turns out that this guitar plays uh, very comfortably very comfortably sounds very very loud and little else what what about about everything else a guitar can give imagine imagine that you have another guitar in your collection with a beautiful sound that some guitars are capable of producing with those colors that make your interpretation full of imagination to play in one or another place of the guitar, you discover beautiful sounds, beautiful colors, the phrases that you only play with that guitar because it gives you enormous possibilities. Playing a simple melody is already wonderful for you because the sound of the notes is, is pure, rounded, it gets emotion from you, and you enjoy that guitar and spend hours in that room playing it. With In that room, in that small room with a pleasant volume for you and for your friends when they visit you or even for even to play in a small concerts in, in a not very big uh, hall it turns out that the guitar you just bought from your favorite guitarist is is left in its you left it in in, in its case you hardly play it and the one you play is that the, the one you owned since years ago which is the one you really like and with uh, which you enjoy very much uh, playing guitar music. This situation can easily happen. Think that this situation also happens with professional guitarists. There are famous gu guitarists, classical guitarists, who at home may often like to play a guitar that is different from the guitar they choose to play in concerts because it, it is other needs that they, they, they need. You know? And there are also many uh, guitarists who choose one, one kind of guitar, one guitar for concerts and another kind of guitar to make their recordings for their albums. In other words, depending on what you are looking for, you choose one guitar or the other guitar. These professional guitarists uh, can enjoy playing very much uh, with uh, Juan Antonio de Torres guitar, for example, or Santos Hernandez that they have in their collection and play them um, very often at home, alone or in meetings with, uh, with friends or, or in a small concerts, but not choose them to play a concert in a large concert hall without amplification, where they need a very powerful guitar with a lot of volume to cover a very large music uh, musical repertoire. We have always wanted the guitar of the of that professional guitarist that you like, and it happens many times. No, it often happens, and you and you see uh, you see this uh, this uh, guitarist in a concert, and may, many times it's not the best guitar for you, and it's not the guitar that is the best in, in overall qualities. I'm not saying that all professional guitarists are only looking for volume in their guitars for their concerts and, and that's it. Many professional guitarists uh, play excellent guitars for their concerts. But I repeat, uh, it is true that sometimes the preferences 
and needs of a professional guitarist in choosing a guitar for a concert do not necessarily coincide with your preference and needs.